How you gonna expect change? You don't even wanna change. I done spent a lot of change. I ain't even want to change. This shit ain't gonna never change. You don't even wanna change. Ain't gonna never see no change. You don't even want no change. I used to get involved. Every time this shit was lit, I used to get a call. Every day I'm in. Wangram, K Lo K E R E, best friends. Welcome back to the channel. How you vibing today? What's your vibe, friend? All right. So I wanted to come on here first and foremost to all to clarify what my channel is about. My channel is not to dispute um what you feel is true or untrue. You know. Uh, it's also that you can have a better understanding, a more profound understanding of you and your energy from your energetic perspective as to what you believe and why you believe the w things the way you believe. You know, as far as like your mindsets and the things you gravitate to, for example, you know, if someone was to come along and who is more so religious and let's say someone at their church or their synagogue or something, whatever you practice as far as your religion, um, your pastor, a preacher, the pope, uh, a deacon, an elder, you know, a el uh, prophetess, if they came and said, God told me this about you. And you, of course, you're going to believe it and stuff because you have faith in that person that they are telling you the truth. But yet, if somebody else, let's say they practice um, tarot and and people will label it like witchcraft or the esoteric occultism and things like that, and that person came up to the same person that's religious and they said well God told me this that and the third and they shuffle cards to tap into the energy in some type of way shape or form whatever they use for their divination um or they could have had a um what do you call it a um channel message that's what it, I'm thinking of a channel message and they came and told you and said the same thing. God is, but because they practice and, and their spirituality in a different way is wrong. Or even vice versa. If it was somebody who is more so into um, the esoteric and the uh, understanding of the energetic world. And somebody who's more religious came. You know... Well, I can't even say that, but it depends on where you at in, in your journey. But anyway, at, like what makes it wrong? What makes it right? And that's what my channel is all about. It's, it, it's, well, I should scratch that. What, why do you believe what you believe to be true? But yet when other people say something, say the same thing, but from a different perspective of understanding it's untrue. That's what I meant to say not not if it's wrong or right because what's true to you is what's true to you and what's not true to you is just not going to be true to you because we're all here following different paths and of understanding what life is um who you are what who god is um and just everything that's this world encompass period point blank so that's the whole purpose of my channel it's not to dispute anybody it's not to say hey you're wrong you're right i am coming from an educational perspective of what i've learned thus far from my time as being it practicing a religion and then also switching over to the esoteric part and combining it all to give you a um both an energetic as well as a physical logical understanding of where I get my information so I'm not just going to tell you okay this is um God told me to tell you this type of stuff you know just keeping it along that line I'm not going to come and tell you God told me to tell you this and and 
and, and, and things like that because we are in the year of 2023. It's the year of seven. Seven is all about spiritual awakenings. And when it comes to spiritual awakenings, you have to understand the source of where, of, of everything in life. Seven is the, um, chariot card moving forward in some type of way, shape or form balance. So what are you balancing yourself to and with? That's the question. Who are you balancing yourself to and with? Meaning who are you creating with and co-creating with? And <clears throat> is it actually creating healthy balance or unhealthy balance? Because just because you balance somewhere doesn't mean it's, it's healthy. That's the one thing we got to remember. We have to remember that everything has an energetic, aka spiritual meaning. And there's a spiritual physical meaning for everything that's here in this conscious physical realm regardless if it's materialized or it has or it's unmaterialized as of yet it all starts started somewhere and the question is why and is and that's the type of conversations I always had with my higher and higher self as well as the creator of all creations those are only the uh, the only aspects of me that I talk to I don't talk to ancestors no more. I don't talk to, I don't even want to talk to no daggone angels. I don't want to talk to anybody in the physical realm unless I'm guided to, you know, but 99.9% .9 where I'm at now, I'm not because of the simple fact that you, you can only tell me but so much and the things that I am guided to look at, I already knew. So it's more so that when I do talk to somebody or I see something, it's just confirmation of something that I already knew and stuff but that's the whole point of my channel as well and stuff it's um all about okay if somebody can tell you something about yourself that you are not aware of guess what it uh, they already you're not protecting yourself period you're not protecting your energy and stuff like people have this idea of Oh, of different ways to protect their energy but when you think about it you're doing things that's outside of you you know that could be you um you know it does protect does clean your slate but it ultimately doesn't close the the gate i should say to your energy to stop and block other people from getting into your energy and being able to tell you about you rather that's a counselor rather that's a um somebody of a some type of religious a, a person that you go to you know and you seek advice from any really anybody and everybody who can tell you something about you that you are not aware of they are tapping into your energy in some type of way shape or form regardless if they are intentionally consciously doing it or they're intentionally subconsciously and um unconsciously doing it at the end of the day nobody should be able to tell you anything about you but you period but at this day and age and time with us being out of alignment energetically with our souls and our souls vibe um you you can like you're gonna have you're going to seek guidance from other people in a physical form why because you don't know how to respectfully saying you don't understand how to truly connect to god in a way where you can actually hear god feel god see god i'm not saying everybody um can't do that i'm just saying the majority of us um can't do that which is why you go to other people in the physical realm asking them for guidance with and once again that is fine but it should never be their word over yours like i always say if somebody is speaking anything over you even if it's good energy positive stuff at the same time that should not trump yours that's like somebody coming along and they're telling you oh you look good today you look so nice today you know you look handsome today but yet you feel like you don't and stuff what what are their words you know they speaking life into you but because you don't feel that guess what that's the energy that you really feel that's the energy you sending out 
It doesn't matter what anybody say if you don't feel it, if you can understand it, if I'm making it clear. And so, like, for example, with my oldest baby, she had an art project. Now, she's a perfectionist and she's a people pleaser to a certain extent and stuff. And it's in an unhealthy way. Bless, we working on that because she got that from me and her dad in, in some type of way, shape or form. That's just the contracts that she has to fulfill in this lifetime because we didn't fulfill it, you know, in a healthy way. But anyway, moving on. So she had the uh, has a um had an art project and it led she did the art project. I thought she did an amazing job. It was really nice. Her teacher even said it was nice, but she was disgusted with it. She wasn't happy with it. And so at the end of the day, if you catch my vibes, like you can't, you can't talk anything into anybody if they can't see it for themselves, you know? So that's the type, that's what my channel is ultimately about. You can't, and stuff, you have to see things for yourself. You have to experience things for yourself and then take that knowledge and use it and utilize it in a healthy way. Because no matter who comes your way and they help you along, which is good, bless. But if you don't understand the energetic contract as to why you're experiencing what you're experiencing and what this has to do in this lifetime and you in the physical sense and in the logical sense of the energy that you are dishing out in the energetic soul contract you made with with your higher and higher self and your um and creator god of all creations then guess what it doesn't matter what anybody say. And then you're going to always be following that person's path instead of your own. Because now you're taking their word over your own but as to what is true and what is not true. And, and, and not saying that that person is wrong or right. It's just they can only um tap into your energy from their own understanding of life. So if somebody is stuck in some type of way that's both healthy and unhealthy, guess what? You're you're aligning with their understanding of what is healthy and unhealthy, which is what we do day in and day out unbeknownst to us. And that's what you're sending God uh, telling God like in this lifetime, this is the way I want to live. You know? So just think about what I'm saying. This is the type of life that I want to live. I want to take this person's word and stuff over yours. And I'm, a, and I'm saying that, and I I'm going to get this one last example, then I'm going to get off of here. And I'm saying that because, okay, I had some sisters, some Jehovah's Witnesses. They were sisters. I call them sisters because I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. But they came um, to my door. And um, one of them, she comes like every, once or twice a season and stuff. And we have very very good healthy conversations and um but she came by and she it was a while uh, and she was came by because she was like well i came by because i remember the last time we you talked which was months ago um you had some questions and i was like you know respectfully i was like no 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 it wasn't that i had questions excuse me I just saw, said I like talking to different people from all types of um, walks of life, which is why I opened the door the first time. She did come a few times after that, but I didn't open the door because A, I didn't feel like it or B, I just was t in, in the middle of something. So I couldn't talk. And um, so and I just didn't feel like opening the door to explain it. So anyway, moving on. So like I was saying, so she came and I said, no, I just like talking to different people. Um from different walks of life it doesn't matter because we're all here to learn from each other in some type of way shape or form and um you might have a message for me that i might need to hear that i would go in prayer and i would um i will go in prayer and ask my higher high, my higher self and the creator god of all creations about it so i could see what guidance comes to me internally that if we, I follow my own intuition and my own soul's guidance slash the creator's 
of all creation that God's guidance because it comes from within me because like they say the answers are within you period point blank and it truly is you just have to learn how to understand it but my uh so back to what I was saying as far as um the sisters who came so they had came and they and she she the her friend she brought with her she was like I'm glad you mentioned that um you you whenever you have questions you just go in prayer because that's what we're supposed to do you know go to God but the funny thing is it's not like funny haha but funny like we really don't listen to ourselves and I and, and that's myself included I'm learning how to do that um uh, from a healthier space and in a healthier way and from now on it's a uh dag what you call it it's a uh black conch or either that's a vulture or something but it's a huge black bird just flying over my head oh man for somebody who's in who might need to hear that but um what was I saying? Oh, but so when I said that, as far as going in prayer, she was like, I'm glad you said that because um, then she read a scripture because she was like, can I read a scripture? And I said, yes. So she was like, I'm going to read a scripture and it's, um, it's, I forgot what scripture, but pretty much she said it was a uh, man should not lean on their thoughts alone. And I said, I said, that is so true. I said, but in so many words, I had asked her, do she realize what she was just saying to me? Because I, I just said the same thing, but in a different way where I said, if I have questions, I go in prayer and I wait for God to tell me. But if some, if I'm led to some, to talk to somebody or if somebody happened to come, cause I ain't gonna say happen cause everything, nothing in life is a coincidence. It appears to be a coincidence, but it's not. So let's say somebody come my way and um we having a conversation and stuff me being me i'm dissecting that conversation mentally to see what i really can take from it and what i need to leave behind but anyway that would actually help me not because i like it and that it sounded good but taking it at its essence but um anyway like i was saying she said that and i said well that you pretty much said what i just said you know i'm not leaning on what i think would be right i go in prayer and wait for god to come answer my prayer in some type of way shape or form I just you just have to understand how God speaks to you. You have to understand what the type of um energetic language you and God speak to each other. You know, I mean, we could speak to God verbally, mentally, you know, however you say your prayers and whatnot. But God can only speak to you through symbolism because at the end of the day, we have to remember that God is not a physical man or female female. It is divine feminine and energy, divine feminine, excuse me, and masculine energy is energy. It's an energetic being. God is in everything, which is why God is in everything and everything is in God. Excuse me, it's from God because of the simple fact God created everything. So we got to stop referring to God respectfully say I mean you don't have to but I'm just saying like if you really want to understand God you can't just think of God as just an actual man and man and woman you know or it, it's it's energy it's the ultimate energy that created everything it's the ultimate mad mass and volume that created physical matter if you catch my vibes but that's all I had to say um Watch out for my uh, channel's post because I'm about to start. It's breaking down energy so that way you can have a better understanding of where you're at, what's going on more so in the world, and things like that. I say stay blessed up. Remember to tell yourself that I am irrefutable. BKA, I am impossible to deny. Remember to love yourself unconditionally and stuff. Talk those bad vibes out of you don't let nobody else's bad energy or even good energy oh um trump your energy and stuff don't feed into other people's good energy in a way where it's unhealthy where you're stealing from them 
energetically because literally you are if you use somebody if you got feeling down and somebody comes along and you need other people to come perk you up that's unhealthy don't do that <laughs> all right stay blessed up y'all bye-bye